Hey guys, welcome to day three of CES coverage. Let's go ahead and look at some cool tech. We have the Luna robot booth. I've seen this online and I really wanted to check it out and I'm finally getting to see it here at CES. And it is so much cooler than I expected. Pretty much it's loaded with sensors so you can basically kind of like pat it. Look at that, it's like making facial expressions. So basically it has a camera and it has kind of like face detection. So it'll learn the face of each of your family members and it can go basically just drive around your whole house, interacting, it can dance, it can do moves. If it falls over, it can flip over. It can do so many different things. And the cool thing is that it also has kind of like voice recognition and it could do like chat GPT 4.0. So if you have kids, you could have them basically ask the Luna robot questions and it'll answer things that they want to know. If they have like anything that you want to Google, just your kids can ask it this instead, which is really, really cool. It's so much smarter than I thought. You could actually like use a laser pointer and point at the ground. It'll chase it around like a real dog would, which is so cool. And you could actually have kind of like remote camera viewing. It can play games. You can interact with it. You can bump it. And there's so many cool things that you can do. And I thought it would be a lot more expensive, but it's only $500 US and you could actually order it today, which is awesome. So definitely check this out. So much cooler than I thought it was. We're here at Hoover Air. This is their flagship X1 Pro Max. I'm gonna sit and get it activated just like this. And right now it's focused on me at all times. So I can, can you run? walk around, I can go over here and it's gonna follow me, which is really cool. I've seen these before and they do a pretty incredible job of following you around. And then if we want to stop it, we simply put our hand on the bottom of it and it just lands on my hand. This is really cool. They have three models, the X1, the X1 Pro and the X1 Pro Max, kind of like the iPhone uh, modeling, but it's really cool. Check it out. And now I am here at Yarbo and look how massive this thing is. Now you guys know that I use a robot lawnmower. I only mowed my front lawn one time all of 2024. And I used to be a skeptic because how well is it going to work? But it has worked amazing. And I think it's having a lawn care, not just a lawn mower, which is that attachment here, but having a whole system. For example, you have a liquid sprayer, you have your snow blower, you have a leaf blower attachment, you have a granular spreader for fertilizer, seed, uh, and you could actually tow. So all of that you can have with this one system. So for me being busy, it's been amazing having a robot lawn mower, especially for people that are elderly, disabled, or whatever reason you want one. It is so nice that your yard stays perfect all the time and it is just taken care of. So it's been a great investment. You guys go and check this out. Here I am at our partner Volumes booth showing off their new Rec.AI AI recording true wireless earbuds. These things can record your calls and have live flash record, which is basically instant recording without opening the app. It has real time transcription and translation into 13 different languages. They can also generate a to do list and summary notes very easily. And they also have great sound quality, very good bass and with active noise cancellation and transparency mode as well. So with that said, definitely use the link down in the description below to check these out and pick one up for yourself. And now we're here at the Asus booth in a completely different section. And this place is so busy and that is because of two different reasons. First off, we have NVIDIA's new 50 series. Look at these GPUs. This is the 5090, it's so much attention over here. It is massive, but these cards actually got smaller. Very, very nice quality at Asus. They have multiple different versions. There's new um, pre-built that are fully open as far as if you want to upgrade and customize. So that is very cool. And now we're at the ROG section. We have so many different laptops, gaming, NVIDIA 50 series and stuff. They have their updated laptops. And this right here, the ROG Strix, they've redesigned it. You guys might be able to see we have RGB lights all around. And one cool thing is they're caring about customization, about not locking you down. So check this out. Bam, got the cover there. 
pops off, no screws, nothing. And then at the bottom here, now they have dual cooling. You have vapor chamber and tri-fan design. If you guys see, we have an extra slot for M.2 and even this is toolless. All you do is spin that. You can upgrade your um, SSD. RAM, also toolless. Pop open those clips, pop them in. So very cool design from Asus. There's so much to talk about. We can actually spend 10 minutes, 20 minutes talking about all their cool stuff, but definitely go ahead and check it out. And now we're in Govi's booth and they have a few new products that I wanna show you guys. And the first one is the Govi Gaming Wall Light. So this is a brand new system that they just created. And of course it's RGB, so it's fully customizable. And they also have the Gaming Lights Pro, which connect to the computer and they sync up with the visuals of your computer. So if you're playing a game, it's in the background and they just look really cool. And right here we have their Govi Tree Floor Lamps, which are fully customizable as well. As you can see right there, it goes super focused in and out and these are coming out later this summer so definitely stay tuned and in the works they have these pendant lights which are coming out even later this year definitely check them out once they're released and right behind me i have something that is very interesting now you guys could tell that it is a cyber truck and it's wrapped like a lot of them are but this actually has solar panels embedded into the wrap now the company is called sun flare and at first i thought maybe it's a little bit sketchy you know, just for looks, but then in the back, they actually have a power bank that the wires from the solar panels are actually connected into. So yes, it is working. Now you have a cool pattern and then you have uh, panels not covering the full surface, but just the larger flat surfaces that could be harnessing the energy from the sun as you're parked or as you're driving around from whatever direction. Now, I don't know how much this costs. It's probably expensive. It's just a proof of concept that it works. But that is something that is very cool because you can still have a nice looking vehicle without just regular solar panels all over and you can harness some free energy. And now we're here at Aquara. You guys know I use multiple of their devices, especially my front door lock, and they have a variety of new devices. But what I really wanna focus on is on the other side of this wall. This right here is the Hub S1 Plus. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at this. Now, a lot of us have smart devices. I have a bunch but it is so nice to be able to actually have uh, control with a screen with a variety of different devices. So right here we have the front doorbell. So let's go ahead and connect the Wi-Fi here at CES is very spotty. And there's that camera that is outside. We also have the doorbell, somebody <laughs> rang the one on the other side. So you guys can actually look at different cameras in here. We have a bunch of different lighting, so I can go ahead and turn it on, turn it off. And this thing actually replaces a light switch. So you can still have the light switch in the back connected devices. And then you have this control. Of course, you have a speaker here so you can talk to different cameras. And there's just a bunch of functionality. And the cool thing is there is another brand that you might know, I actually have it in my house, but this thing is gonna come in a lot less expensive than what I have. And that's the nice thing about Acquire. They have so many different um, switches, sensors, cameras, and all of them are very affordable. All right, guys, thank you for joining us for day three of CES. We still have some awesome videos coming up, so make sure you guys subscribe.